Aloha. You are watching F5 Web Media On Demand. And welcome to In 5 Minutes or Less with Peter Silva. And today I'm going to show you In 5 Minutes or Less F5's iHealth system, a web-based self-serve support application that provides insight into big IP product deployments through performance monitoring and automated analysis iHealth empowers administrators to identify performance issues, access data for troubleshooting and remediation, and exchange information with F5 support teams for analysis. So let's start the clock. So I've logged on to the Big IP iHealth system, and it's just iHealth.f5.com. You can see here I have a quick view already uploaded, but if you need to upload a new one or start from scratch you would just go here upload find it on your desktop or wherever it be and click upload but since I already have one uploaded I'm just gonna click on it and then right away I get to the status screen and this gives you an orientation of what you just uploaded it pulls information from various places to make it easy to give you insight and information as to what's going on with your system and so right here, right away, the diagnostics, after it ran the diagnostics, I get three high, four medium, and five informational pieces that I should look at. It tells me I should probably upgrade to 10.2. There were no errors in both the diagnostics or extracting the quick view. It gives me the file name, any other quick links that I need to get to, the system information, like the platform, whether or not it's in failover mode, the configuration, how many virtuals and nodes and pools and iRules and those sorts of things am I running. The software, here's 10.1, that's why it told me immediately that I should go to 10.2, and any of the other uh, licenses or modules that you're running on your big IP. And so right away, if you just click high, for instance, under diagnostics, it tells me all the high, medium, and informational pieces of information that it found. And even the high ones, it's kind of cool. So I just click on the solution. So things like default passwords are in use, malformed SSL, or Java vulnerabilities. I can just click on that solution link, and it takes me right to the Ask F5 solution to help me understand what the issue is, and then also remediate it, take care of it right away. Let's go back to status and overview. Now each of these other pieces underneath is just a detailed view of all of this information that you get right up front. So if I click on hardware, it just gives me detailed information about the hardware, the same with the software, the same with the failover, and the same with the licensing. Now here if I go to network, it's kind of cool, you click on virtual addresses, it gives me all of the addresses that are running within that big IP system and so here is a 443 virtual there are profiles being run and I rules potentially within that pool I got a couple boxes running in the pool and then it tells me which monitors are running and so this one's good on port 80 now if I take this 192.0.2 here in my pool you can see a couple are green and a couple are red and so if you just scroll over the red it says this particular pool member has been marked down. It's offline. But the one above it, right here, you can see it is available and enabled. And so the same thing with each of these. If you go down, if you want to go drill down by virtual server, if you want to drill down by pool, if you want to drill down by pool members, I rules, it gives you very detailed information. Your commands that are available, you can get into the big pipe or the TM shell some of the configuration, any files that you need to get to, the diagnostics that were available right on the top screen, and then the graphs, which are kind of cool too. So blade, CPU, and then you can get the average CPU usage for each of the blades on the system, either three hours, one day, seven days, or your custom. And then each of these, like for instance, I'll click on that one, you can download the image for local use or if you need to include it in a presentation or anything like that. And so it's real simple. 
it lets you explore your big IP system and also provides recommendations as how to better increase performance and identify issues and then remediate those within your big IP system. It also allows you efficient collaboration with the F5 support professionals because this is now uploaded in the system and you can also connect it with your case number if you happen to have it. So by taking a holistic view of the infrastructure, iHealth quickly identifies opportunities for performance improvement so action can be taken. It can also help users show them available upgrades that optimize performance and help assess the impact of both industry or regulatory changes like that um, you know, particular SSL one. Helps you right there. And so there you have it. In five minutes or less, F5's iHealth system. Thanks for watching. This is Peter Silva for F5 Networks. Visit us online at www.f5.com.